Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about classification of matter. In this, matter is classified into five types mainly. They are solids, liquids, gases, plasma and Bose-Einstein condensed state. Among these five, three are very important states of matter which we are observing in our daily life. They are solid state, liquid state and a gaseous state. Before going to this, this what is meant by matter? Matter means it is something which can occupy space and which has definite mass and weight. So here solids, liquids and gases all these are having definite mass and weight and it can occupy some space in the atmosphere. In this, first of all, we will learn about properties of solids, liquids and gases. In this, solids. Solids means here if you see this diagram, in this, all these are the rounds whatever you are seeing, all these are called as particles. Particles that are present in particular solids. You may consider solids means like a stones or a metals normally in chemistry generally metals are solids and the particles which are present in that metals or in solids they are very closely packed without any space between these particles these are called as particles without any space or intermolecular space with more intermolecular force of attraction. What is meant by intermolecular space? Intermolecular space means the space that is present between the molecules or a particle. See here, if these two are particles, the space that is present between these two are called as inter means in between. In between the particles, the space whatever it is present that is called intermolecular space. In these solids, no intermolecular space. We can call it as nil intermolecular space. And when there is nil intermolecular space, when there is less space and there, there is a more force of attraction or intermolecular force of attraction is very high in solids. Due to that property, Solids can pass definite shape, size and mass. So solids have definite shape, size and it has mass and it can occupy some space in the atmosphere. And solids if you observe if it is a solid these have many free surfaces. If you see here this is one surface and this is one surface and here and here and like that we can find many number of free surfaces on solids and solids are very denser when there is a definite shape and definite size and there is nil force of uh, nil space in between the particles then there will be a much definite shape then we can consider it as more denser or thicker in nature and then these solids we can also convert into other states they are liquids or gaseous state how how we can convert from solid to liquid or a gaseous state so for that we need heat energy Heat energy means we can apply some heat or we can heat some so the solids and then after heating the solids let's take ice which is uh, which we can get in a deep freeze we can heat that after heating we will get liquid. So that transfer the conversion of that property of the state from solid to liquid is called as melting. Melting is a process on applying some heat energy converting from solid state to liquid state is called as melting. In this exactly what is happening after applying little heat or heat energy here the force of attraction between the particles are decreasing and the intermolecular space is increasing like this. 
here it is very close the particles are very closely packed after applying little heat energy kinetic energy means motion of the particles or movement of the particles are increasing thereby the space between these are increasing that process is called as melting and then after that converting into liquids we can also convert that liquid state into gaseous state by applying more amount of by providing more amount of heat energy so on applying more amount of heat energy on giving that the more intermolecular space increases and the force of attraction decreases and then it converts into gaseous state that transfer transfer is called as evaporation that means conversion of liquid state to gaseous state on applying heat energy is called as evaporation in that evaporation kinetic energy of that means movement of the particles increases then come to the liquids here if you take the liquids liquids have liquids doesn't have definite shape and size but it can take the shape of container it doesn't have definite shape and size but it can take the shape of container and in this intermolecular space or a intermolecular force of attraction both are in medium both are in medium state and these have only one free surface and the density of a liquids is medium compared to the solids and then gases and liquids can flow but the solids can't flow and come to the gases gases are the third state of matter in which they doesn't have intermolecular force of attraction but they have more intermolecular space means the space between these two particles are more and then it doesn't have a definite size and shape so we can convert solid state to liquid state and liquid state to gaseous state by applying little heat energy and then kinetic energy increases kinetic energy means motion or a movement of the particles it increases thereby solids converts into liquids liquids converts into gases the process called as solid to liquid state is called as melting and conversion of liquid state to gaseous state is called as evaporation and gases have one property that property is called as diffusion where a solids can can flow liquids can flow but gases can also flow other than that gases can diffuse diffusion diffusion means spreading out of a gas spreading out of a gas on applying a small little pressure spreading of a gas through a small hole is called as diffusion spreading out of gas we can call it as that is called that property is called as diffusion property of gas in this one more term when after converting liquids to gaseous state we can also convert there is a possibility of converting gaseous state to liquid state so that process is called as condensation condensation means conversion of gaseous form to liquid form okay and then one more we can also do the liquid state that means from liquid we can also convert into solid state how that means before that we are applying heat energy in this we have to remove that heat energy and then we'll get a condensation process where conversion of gases to liquid or liquids to solid state as all these three phase transfer transfer transfers are, are possible one more phase transition that is called as
sublimation sublimation other than melting evaporation condensation and then freezing one more property that is sublimation sublimation means here direct conversion of solid state to gaseous state without going into the liquid state that is called as sublimation process this thing we can observe in evaporation of naphthalene balls where we are getting more smell and in the vodonil we can observe this sublimation process all these phase transitions are called as interconversion of matter here i can write it as melting evaporation and condensation freezing and then sublimation all these process or a conversions are called as interconversion of matter with this i'll end my topic thank you